a man should pay for the first date? Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah I, I agree. That's I hundred percent agree. Yeah, agree. Yes, like, bro. I thought everybody. Agreed. If we're going to McDonald's, that's for sure. No. <laughs> I mean, really, it don't matter. McDonald's on a first date, bro. You got to give off a good first impression. <laughs> he leave. No. He leave it. Started with nothing. Niggas try hustling. Now I got bands. Money straight Cumberland. You was a hater. What's good, YouTube? It's your boys. I'll back with another video. Today's video is gonna be featuring the gang. Say what's up, gang. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> We're gonna be reacting to one of uh. Jubilee's hey. video. That's enough, nigga. Stop talking. Back on me. Who already lagging out? Big boy over there. <laughs> We're gonna be reacted to Jubilee's. Do all men think the same? Y'all ready? Yeah. Didn't ask. <laughs> all right. Bro, never had that worry. Anybody? Anybody uh worry about that? Nah, Shit, I ain't gonna cap, bro. I ain't gonna cap. It was like it was like seven, eight grade. Okay. About, okay. Look, bro, hit me up, hit me up. They was talking about eight and nine. I wasn't even. How you get eight inches in eight grade, nigga? That shit not, bro. <laughs> that expectation was too high. Hey, hey, hey look at Jumbo. He over there thinking like that. <laughs> You still thinking about the question? I can't even see that nigga. <laughs> you froze. Hey, I ain't really thought about it like that much until somebody had asked me. That's like, it, Dan. You small, nigga. Uh, Nothing. Okay, that's like, understandable. When I was younger, I was like, "Whoa, is this right. normal? Is this not?" But like, that nigga fruity. Eventually, I was like, "Nah, I'm, I'm fine." I feel like this whole conversation is just like. Bring into my awareness how impressive Look at Ron. and like how much of our lives and our masculinity is defined by. You can't even have me, nigga. Everybody's like, oh, you gotta have a big dick. You gotta have a big dick. Whoa. And all you see is like, only time you see hey, a big yo. Is porn, and it's like, yeah, fourteen inches. <laughs> Man. Like, oh, mine doesn't look like that. Yeah. Then of course you're gonna like fourteen inches. What? Hold on. Hold on. Hey, hey yo. Did he just say fourteen? He talk about um. Uh... Oh, watching. <laughs> watching that. He watching that horse. Gonna go watch some. Wait, no, they changed. The they changed their answer. I, I changed my mind because what he said was it, it made a lot of sense because I remember the first time I saw porno and I saw black guys doing it. Hey, like, yo. Not like that. As I got older, I perfected my craft. I've never had a problem with women. Perfected my craft. It's all about, it's not the size of the boat. It's that the ocean of the ocean. You just love a woman. You embrace each other. And it's just, I've never had a problem with Do we all agree? Since then. I think for younger people, yeah, uh, I agree now. And, and whatever, and, and that really over time it all becomes okay, and it's yeah. fine. Um, yeah. Maybe that would help a lot. Yeah. All right. A man should pay for the first date. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah I, I agree. Bro, that's I agree. One hundred percent agree. Yes, like, bro. I thought, I thought everybody if we're going to McDonald's, that's for sure. No. <laughs> I mean, really, it don't matter. McDonald's on a first date, bro. You got to give off a good first impression. <laughs> he leaves. McDonald's? He leaves. Who considers McDonald's for a first date? Oh, he leaves, man. It's a Why joke. It was a joke, bro. Why he go? You a, you, a, you a cheapskate. It was a <laughs> joke. You do that shit, bro. It was a joke. Hell, bro. McDonald's on a first date. It was a joke. It was a joke. Yeah, ain't going to be joke. no second date, nigga, after that shit, bro. It was a joke, bro. <laughs> it was a joke, bro. <laughs> So everybody said yeah. Get a win and get a four for four. Everybody yeah. said yeah. All right, all right. Let's see. Let's see what they yeah, say. Dang, that black nigga said no, sir. <laughs> he said he no, sir. Many. They all said no. Oh, okay. Except for him. So that's important to you to like take that leadership role to be, tradition to be like the bread tradition. I'm the caretaker right. of society. I agree Starting, with that. Like, seeing it this way, once you give the woman the power. Then you just demasculated yourself. I, I just I want to stick to what's made me happy, and my my grandparents, my parents. And I'm just gonna stick with it because it works. It's not perfect, but it works. I can't wait to see what he yeah, say. Man, I, think, uh, I, think, I, I don't know. I think we're just getting in dangerous territory when we start talking about chivalry. At the end of the day, it's like, yo, baby, if you want to pay for this, like, there is no hierarchy. The first like, date, though. I'm not see what he say. That that's making yeah. it sound like nah. So I'll pay for it. Wasn't this the first meal though? You yeah, said? the first one. Okay, right. You get one chance sense. to make a first impression. Yeah. All right. What does it matter? What does it matter? Or a guy 
it's 2019 and your logic shouldn't be like no disrespect okay. like oh because my grandpa did it and it worked for him <laughs> then it works for me if she's not going to do it is Anthony time, talking about it for her <laughs> I think I got Anthony's it. retarded bro <laughs> stupid as hell bro point. I support the me too movement I mean, that's what is the, that that's like the when the bro, girls came out that? about being raped and stuff like the sexual harassment oh. and stuff I used to, I'm still Especially lost. When, it's when Bill Cosby got exposed. Why he disagreeing? He the only nigga. At first, when I yeah. saw it, you know, and talking to my friends, a lot of and family, a lot of people in the South, they're like, these women should have spoke up a long time ago. And then I had to like step aside. And oh, I see. I understand. Now. I understand now. So I think I think it's like yeah, like when, when one girl, yeah, yeah, after somebody else does. Oh, okay. Okay. So like me too. Okay. I okay. I mean yeah I agree with that because I feel like they could be capping. No no I I feel like once one girl said she giving other girls motivation to speak up about it. Yeah yeah I agree with yeah. it. See yeah. I agree with uh -oh. it. Like, uh -oh. Uh -oh. It got uh -oh. taken way too far. It got taken way too far. Like some folks is like caught capping. Trying to be popular and all this shit, and some people got fucked over for so you agree. Their career, so. I agree to an extent. Yeah, I agree with it. Yeah. Look at Jumbo. Jumbo, you agree? Yeah. And be like, you know what? She didn't feel. Hey yo, why you sound like? She wasn't in a society <laughs> in a place. It's crazy. It's sound like that, bro. Say anything about it. So now that they have the platform and the ability, I'm like, that's amazing. Speak your truth. What do you tell oh, a yeah, child he for sure. who is accused of rape by a woman, has his whole Whoa. life destroyed, and then people just go, oh. There's always going to be people that take advantage of it, or it's not going to be perfect. We're figuring it out as we Look go. Look at Napoleon like, Dynamite. It's done more good than it's done bad. <laughs> I, think you get my... to, I think we get to acknowledge the bad, though. Like, I think, yeah, uh, like, of that's, course. That's why I'm doing, like, this thing is, like, for us to say, like, oh, he did that to me, and all of a sudden now we've, like, vindicated that guy is, like, vilified. Like, there is no chance of, like, him... Having a say in the conversation. Why he, why he come on? A, why he come up here with no fade? Hey, hey, pause real quick. Pause real quick. Why he come on? What he said, I kind of understand what he's saying because it was like he's saying that pretty much if you get called out for it, they don't give you a chance to speak on it because you can easily, she can easily say that you raped her the whole time. It was like one drunk night, you know, it was you, and she was like, okay. I can expose this nigga. Understand what he's they saying. They be abusing it. That's what you're saying. Yeah, that's why I was like, it's really a. Some people manipulate it, and some people be truthful with it. No that's back to what I said. Why he come on stage with no fade? Movement to say yes. No taper. Okay. This hierarchy of men and women, which is I wouldn't want to care. I know. Right I know girls are gonna be watching. <laughs> I'd be. Let's have those conversations. I'd be teed. Changes, and I'll be over there all fucking day. All right. Let's see. Toxic masculinity is overblown. Agree. I agree. Agree with it. Hey, hey, yeah, yeah, Malik. Break down toxic masculinity for us. Toxic masculinity. No, I know what it is. Pretty much. It is, but I'm saying, like, no, I'm just saying, tell them to do it. it. Yeah. Like, I'd be on Twitter and I'd be seeing, like, who could, a dude could tell a girl. A set of attitudes and ways of behaving stereotypically associated with or expected of men. Right word. Yeah, I think I just somewhat agree that it's blown out of proportion because I think what happens with social media is a group of people coin a term and now it's, we're all painted by it. Like we are not in like a post, I don't know, like rape culture world, you know, like women are being catcalled every day. And so like men are still, I think, seen or experienced as like a predatory presence to women. So like that's why I just don't think it's like overblown. I think it's just oh. If we were good men, okay, there wouldn't be feminists. They wouldn't be attacking us. They wouldn't. What? Be... I guess it's like he's, pre he's pretty much talking about like women generalize all men. Like you know how they say niggas ain't shit. Like all men ain't shit. But it's it's I good people out there. What was you finna say, Ron? I said I guess toxic toxic. Whatever the fuck the word is, I guess it's like, I guess it's like, I guess it's like being, like being, like, you know how people say all black people eat watermelon and chicken? 
I guess it's like yeah. the same relation, but as <laughs> men, like as to being a man, I guess I don't know. Look at Malik's face. He got him confused. <laughs> get what you're trying to say. It's like a stereotype. I get all right, right, all right, all right. Back to it. Back to it. Who cat call? So yes. Men have become toxic, and once again, I have to be—I have to be consistent with all my beliefs and all my morals. I'm very traditional. I see what you're saying, but the way you're framing it, <laughs> like this—this this word "moral" is kind of the kind of beef. Uh oh, it's like it sounds like you're saying like it's men. He took that personally. Like the moral compass <laughs> of society. <laughs> I, I no. think it's everybody's, it's, it's everybody's but men if men want to coin themselves as the leaders you have to hold up to the good and the bad that's part of the problem though like that's what I think toxic masculinity or it's putting too much pressure on yourself I mean it's very obvious that we're grappling with like the history and the damage of like what a world completely run by men does to us that's why I think we're talking about ta toxic masculinity mm. Understand what oh, that I am comfortable with showing sure. my emotion. Hey, Cape, you go first. Cape, go first. Look at him. Oh, not even ready. What? There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Are you wrong? Yeah, man, what you mean? I think it. I think it depends to a certain extent. Cause if you just walking around. Acting like a bitch and shit, bro. Ain't no female to us. Hey, no, no, no. That's not all the time, but like when it's necessary. Yeah, I, when it's necessary. I get what you're saying, though. If you need to, if you need to cry, you can cry, but not like twenty four seven. Just what I'm saying, yeah. though. We can walk around being a bitch, good. <laughs> this shit, not, not about, not about everything. Yeah, like Jumbo, yeah. huh? I mean, it, it depends on yo. <laughs> No, I don't be crying, like, bro. I only cry on certain situations, bro. Like, bro, no, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, let me explain, let me explain, let me explain. If, if like, if somebody close to me, like, passes away or something, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I'll, I, I don't cry, like, all the time. Like, all right, hold on, hold on, hold on. What if? I never what, show my emotions. What if, what if, uh, <clears throat> uh you ask a girl, all right? And you get all dressed to go to the restaurant, and then she don't show up. Is you crying, or are you just man? Fuck that girl, man. Yeah, fuck that. I'm gonna say fuck her, bro. Like I don't care. Like, you you wasted my time. That. I'm not gonna cry. Okay, how about <laughs> how about how about a girl you in a relationship with two years cheat on you? Then what? And at the same time, I'm gonna be mad, but. Like, bro, like, I have two years of, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that's going to be it. Is. It is what it is. It is what it is, bro. All right. All right. All right uh, hey, Marcus. <laughs> bro, it's like... How about how about if a girl, uh, <clears throat> hmm, delete, delete your my player on 2K and sell all your Fortnite skins? You crying? I'm killing somebody. Oh, you're killing her? Okay. okay. Let's continue. continue. Oh, yeah. continue. Yeah. Two things. You don't touch our game or our shoes, nigga. That's the two rules. The girls don't think. Like, harped upon me for years that, like, showing my emotions were bad. And, right. And like, me trying not to be gay. I'm like, no, like, I don't want to show these emotions because I'm not gay. I can't be gay. Like, I'm not supposed to be gay. Like, the church tells me. My dad tells me. My mom tells me. Fuck, bro. I'm not this supposed to be gay. Like, yo. Just understanding that at 25, <laughs> now 26, like, I'm over here like, okay, like, oh, you're insecure. Okay, that's what that feels like. Oh, you're sad. That's what that feels like. I can now be aware of those things, but to show them to other people. It's like a sign of weakness to some people. It's like really hard for me. I do feel like I'm very verbally um, like about my emotions with my wife, but I wouldn't agree completely because I'm not like that with anyone else. I mean, mm. I just filled a, a college class and I okay. was crying about it. Oh, he a punk. But no one else at school saw me. College? Cry, you know? I and just, look, you crying over a college class? The kids are asleep by the time I come home because I just knew I was going to be... Hey, like, you paying a lot of money day. for... Okay, okay that's enough. One of them you need to see that. But like the next day I sat down and I had that conversation with them. I'm like, hey, I just want to let you guys know, you know, your dad didn't pass this class. And they're like, oh, are you okay? And next I'm like, yeah, of course. You, you know, just like, cry in front of your kids, man. I remember like seeing my dad cry for the first time when his mom died. And I remember like 
imprinting that in my mind as like, wow, you know. Like, Bro, what is he like, wearing on a? Be upset. <laughs> I was raised by two Look parents that I never ever saw cry. The effect that that had on me was by the time one of them passed away very suddenly. I motherfucker cannot dress, bro. Take that off. shit off, bro. Like, get, get, off, get, get off the screen, <laughs> nigga. It's like, cannot dress, bro. Not being able to show your emotions is very bad. It puts us backwards in society, and and we need to be thinking about how to. Hmm. Tap into our third eye. Hey, yo. Is y'all gonna cry when y'all parents die? Hey, yo, for. You'll be adapting them up, bro. You say, hey, yo, for. I said, is y'all gonna cry when y'all parents die? Yes. Of course. Yeah. It's our parents, bro. He said, of course, it's our parents, bro. Yeah, bro. So we meet her, she wants to go out